Le président, veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise des débats. Comme annoncé ce matin au parti et au public, session, il y a aujourd'hui deux audiences. Of the Cet après-midi, nous entendrons les observations des partis In relation to qui the pourront donner leur avis the sur Philip la Short, déposition who de Philippe to be Short, from the first qu'il est to the prévu of d'entendre du 1 au 8 octobre 2012. Comme déjà indiqué, et compte tenu de l'avis donné ce matin par les médecins au sujet de l'état de santé, of de Monsieur Yingsari, actuellement et dans un avenir proche, son état de santé ne lui permettra pas d'assister aux audiences. For that reason, we like to hear Par conséquent, of the parties, la Chambre souhaite connaître l'avis des partis proceed, quant à la manière With the de hearing of the testimony of Philip Short as les audiences visant à recueillir la déposition de Philip Short. First, we like to give the floor to the prosecution. Tout d'abord, la parole est à l'accusation. Je vous en prie. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. President, Your Honours, uh, Council, and, and people around the court. Maître, ainsi que toutes les personnes uh, Your Honours. I know my presence is uh, very recent, but uh, I've been following the proceedings this depuis morning peu, and speaking with uh, the prosecutor and, suivi and je the prosecutors in court today. And um, in brief, qui dans le our position is that en bref, notre we don't est la um, oppose Nous ne the, pas um, opposés or the adjournment of uh, the expert Philip Short's testimony de la déposition de um, based, Short, based on, a, on a few factors. Um, et ce, firstly, pour plusieurs raisons. Uh, Premièrement, we don't oppose because, nous n'y sommes pas opposés as, as today, parce que d'après ce que nous avons pu um, constater aujourd'hui, il y a certaines incertitudes qui se posent uh, concernant uh, l'état de Yang santé Sari. de M. Uh, Yangsari, au moins dans l'immédiat. The expert reports Nous looking at his fitness avons pris connaissance his, uh, fitness. des rapports d'experts um, concernant l'aptitude mentale de M. Xari. Seulement récemment, début septembre, But, um, il était clair since that time, que Yang Xari um, était some new information apte has arisen à in relation to his physical health, déposer, his mais depuis health. lors, d'autres problèmes And se sont posés really quant à sa santé physique. Uh, from the this morning, Et compte tenu um, des dépositions tendues ce matin, on ne sait pas exactement And quel traitement administrer. Um, Par ailleurs, what the, uh, effect, um, on ne sait pas the, uh, exactement is, is quelles on his seraient health. That was sort of les répercussions de son état physique sur sa santé mentale. Your have rightly said, uh, Ce matin, uh, les we're not experts témoins ont bien in, dit in, in ne pas field, être des experts but, uh, de ce domaine. Informative and provided valuable testimony, uh, nonetheless. Il ils ont néanmoins apporté des informations très importantes. Compte tenu de cette incertitude uh, relative à son état de santé, um, the current situation that we're in et en plus de la situation with, actuelle, uh, the defense for Yang Sari, à savoir que la défense um, de Yang Sari intending Certainly from the letters they have put forward, or the letter they put forward, intending qui ont not to uh, prolong uh, the proceedings de ne pas prolonger le procès uh, waving, en acceptant uh, Mr. Yang Sari's, uh, right to be present de renoncer for au droit for eight witnesses, de Yang Sari d'être présent et ce pour la déposition de huit témoins. La défense um, a aussi right accepté de renoncer à ce droit concernant la présentation de documents, uh, en particulier this, this case, pour ce qui est de cette étape structure de l'affaire, à savoir la structure administrative um, à de communication, ainsi que pour la présentation des documents the, um, ayant trait of, of à la statements. recevabilité des déclarations uh, de témoins. <coughs> the prosecution of the view, selon l'accusation, looking at, looking at the 
the number of witnesses uh, de témoins at this stage are prepared to waive pour lesquels, à ce stade, la défense a l'intention de renoncer au droit de l'accuser au présent. Et compte tenu du fait qu'il y a aussi des audiences de procédure pour lesquelles Yang Sari est prêt à renoncer à être présent. Et d'après nos estimations, pour les témoins suivants, 186, 386, 389, 384, 385, en plus de la présentation des documents auxquels les juges ont demandé de se préparer, nous avons indiqué à la juriste hors classe que nous aimerions disposer d'une journée et demie pour présenter les documents sur, in addition to, les structures administratives et après de communication, il y aurait aussi des audiences sur la recevabilité des déclarations de témoins d'après nos calculs compte de ces prononciations. Of court available court Il y a time that would be well quatre used, semaines de temps d'audience uh, qui pourraient être um, witnesses utilisées that, uh, pour your entendre les have, témoins uh, to call in this case. que la Chambre a décidé um, à comparer. Also to On peut aussi uh, your have to hear. entendre les observations so des parties sur les documents. Forward, Conformément a, aux demandes de la Chambre, il s'agit um, pour nous, this, de quelque chose d'essentiel, que le procès puisse continuer, nous pensons qu'actuellement, au moment où il y a des incertitudes quant aux effets de l'état de santé actuel de M. Yang Sari, nous pensons qu'il est possible d'avancer et l'on ne perdrait rien à procéder, comme je l'ai indiqué. Uh, the court gets to a situation Avant where de se retrouver dans une situation où les juges devraient se pencher trial, sur des problèmes liés um, no à de longs retards in to et au cas où heard, il n'y aurait pas de renonciation au droit d'être présent. Pour um, la déposition de tel ou tel témoin, stage, avant qu'on en arrive là, donc, uh, that, nous um, sommes d'avis que la règle 81 uh, uh, exprime la jurisprudence um, internationale comme quoi um, toutes les autres be, uh, options uh, devraient être envisagées avant que l'on n'envisage right. de restreindre um, le droit d'un accusé. We're not at that stage yet, Pour nous, that nous n'en sommes pas encore là, um, is in fact, mais um, a, a worthwhile one il est bon d'avoir ce débat. Of, um, the, uh, that the Yang Sari et ce, have taken, compte tenu de la position that, um, adoptée par la défense de Yang Sari, à savoir Yang Sari que Yang Sari to hear witnesses, est prêt ones which, um, à entendre des témoins, surtout lorsque leur déposition ne porte pas uh, directement sur ses actes et son comportement, the, the ni sur la structure du ministère des Affaires um, étrangères. And if we, if we combine that with, um, the si, of the experts, en plus de cela, on tient compte and, uh, du point de vue des experts, or hier, on a reçu un rapport stating that, de um, It is in fact, la WISU, um, uh, selon Short quoi le professeur Short préfère in early 2013, déposer which début 2013, en fait c'est seulement dans quelques um, mois, current, et ce, uh, compte tenu de sa charge de travail um, actuelle, c'est donc la préférence um, qu'il a indiquée uh, auparavant, et à présent, uh, il y a une nouvelle situation, à savoir qu'on peut entendre um, d'autres témoins. We, it's, it's Selon nous, the witness, it's to, ce serait avantageux um, pour le témoin, uh, uh, accused, ce serait avantageux pour l'accusé et pour that, la chambre elle-même um, que le procès se poursuive sans de grands débats juridiques um, sur l'opportunité so, ou non de se faire. Um, We, our, our view would be in terms of, particularly, I think, in light of the fact that uh, Mr. Short um, lives in America. Monsieur Short and, vit um, aux États-Unis. For the, uh, the time, I believe, and, and for the, he's overseas in any event, and so for the time 
et de toute façon, il est à l'étranger. Il devrait donc prendre un certain temps pour se déplacer. Et même dans le meilleur des cas, à savoir que le rapport hebdomadaire sur Yang Sari serait obtenu la semaine prochaine, et même si ce rapport disait que Yang Sari était physiquement apte et qu'il peut revenir assister aux audiences, même dans ce cas-là, cette semaine, ce serait une trop longue période, ce serait trop tard pour répondre au professeur Short. Donc, par mesure de précaution du point de vue de l'organisation du procès, notre position consiste à dire qu'un report est profitable à chacun. Parfois, il est difficile de faire comparaître les témoins dans l'ordre exact que nous souhaitons, mais compte tenu de la nature de cette affaire et compte tenu de l'accusé et d'autres facteurs qui sont source de complications, si les prévoins qu'il est prévu de citer à comparaître viennent, même si ce n'est pas dans l'ordre idéal, malgré tout, cela ne saurait porter beaucoup de préjudice à la conduite de la faute. En ce qui concerne la santé physique de M. Yang Sari, nous demandons une chose. En plus de notre demande tendant à ce que la déposition de M. Short soit reportée à une date ultérieure, nous demanderions au juge, au titre de la règle 32, de désigner des neurologues nationaux et internationaux qui seraient chargés d'examiner M. Yang Sari à titre extrêmement urgent, de façon à ce que nous puissions nous faire une idée de la situation réelle concernant sa santé. Il est clair que des médecins ont déposé ce matin, ils ont parlé de consultants. Je pense que le moment est opportun de faire comme je l'ai proposé et de désigner des experts, des neurologues qui seraient chargés sur ordre de la Chambre de présenter un rapport dès que possible. De cette manière, nous serions exactement informés de l'état de santé physique de M. Yang Sari. Troisièmement, nous avons une autre motion nous avons déposé une requête en date du 19 septembre, E-299-1, pour éviter de devoir débattre de ceci chaque semaine et de devoir se demander quels témoins on peut ou non citer à comparaître, nous voudrions que les juges demandent à la défense de Yang Sari et à Yang Sari lui-même, bien sûr, d'envisager la déposition des 35 témoins que nous avons mentionnés dans cette annonce faite à la Chambre et qui porte sur les premiers transferts forcés, le premier depuis Phnom Penh et le deuxième transfert forcé qui est intervenu durant la période du Cambodge démocratique. Si nous le demandons à présent, c'est compte tenu des renonciations exprimées jusqu'ici. Apparemment, la défense de Yang Sari, Yang Sari lui-même pourrait être disposée à renoncer au droit d'être présent pour la déposition des témoins qui ne parleront pas directement des et ni sur la structure du ministère des Affaires étrangères, ni sur où c'est apparemment le cas de tous les témoins qui vont parler des transferts forcés. Ces témoins ne vont pas parler de Yang Sari ou du ministère des Affaires étrangères. Donc, si on procède ainsi, si on encourage les parties à procéder ainsi, peut-être que dans la semaine qui vient, nous pourrions constituer une réserve de témoins 
peut-être une vingtaine de témoins susceptibles d'être cités à comparaître et concernant lesquels la défense de Yangsari pourrait renoncer au droit de son client d'être présent de façon à poursuivre le procès en attendant de déterminer l'état de santé de M. Yang Sari. Dans le contexte de cette demande, nous avons pris contact avec la défense de Yang Sari juste avant l'audience. De façon générale, nous avons toujours bien coopéré dans le passé. Nous aimerions rencontrer la défense lundi, peut-être, afin de voir quels seraient les autres témoins que la défense serait prête à entendre en renonçant au droit de Yang Sari d'être présent. Ceci est fait pour éviter tout retard compte tenu de l'imprévisibilité liée à l'état de santé de M. Yang Sari. En conclusion, comme tout le monde, bien sûr, l'accusation veut veiller à ce que le procès soit aussi équitable et rapide que possible. Il faut trouver un équilibre entre les droits des uns et des autres. Selon nous, en reportant la déposition de Philippe Schorz et en entendant entre-temps les témoins concernant lesquels la défense de Yang Sari a dit que son client renoncera à son être présent, et compte tenu d'une autre mise de témoins pour lesquels une renonciation serait possible, And national et expert compte tenu de la désignation d'un neurologue national ou international peut-être le même qui ausculte actuellement M. Yang Sari, peut-être que tout cela permettrait d'atteindre l'objectif qui nous est commun, à savoir d'avoir un procès mené de façon diligente et équitable. Merci. Le Président, merci à l'accusation. À présent, la parole est donnée aux co-avocats principaux pour les partis civils. Oui, Monsieur le Président, Mesdames et Messieurs les juges et chers confrères, donc je voudrais vous faire part de la position de la partie civile et peut-être commencer par la fin en vous indiquant que la partie civile a finalement pris la décision de soutenir dans sa totalité la position du procureur. Avant cela, je voudrais quand même vous tenir informé des raisons pour lesquelles nous avons abouti à cette décision parce que je crois que c'est important et important notamment pour les personnes que nous défendons. Nous avons pris cette décision en prenant d'abord en considération ce qui nous paraît indiscutable, c'est-à-dire le droit d'un accusé d'être présent à son procès, de pouvoir donner des instructions et aussi de pouvoir réagir en direct lorsqu'un témoin ou un expert est interrogé. Mais on ne peut pas parler de ce droit sans prendre également en considération en face le droit des parties civiles, notamment le droit qui résulte de la règle 21 du règlement intérieur sur l'équilibre des droits des parties, et également dans ce même, cette même règle, ce, la règle qui dit qu'il faut préserver la garantie des droits des parties civiles. J'ajouterai que cette garantie des droits des parties civiles à avoir une procédure équitable est aussi rappelée par la déclaration des principes fondamentaux de justice relatifs aux victimes de la criminalité, décision du 26, 29 novembre 1985. On ferait une erreur de ne prendre toujours en considération que le seul droit des accusés. Je crois qu'il est important d'avoir toujours cette vision d'un équilibre entre les droits des parties. Je le dis d'autant plus aujourd'hui que nous avons appris ce matin le décès d'une partie civile âgée de 76 ans, qui donc, elle non plus, ne verra pas l'issue de ce procès. Cela dit, et pour avancer encore dans la discussion, nous regrettons que cette situation à laquelle nous aboutissons aujourd'hui n'ait pas été davantage anticipée. 
compte tenu de l'âge des accusés, compte tenu de leur état de santé, nous pensons qu'il est vraiment indispensable de, de prévoir au moins un double agenda de telle sorte que les audiences puissent se dérouler dans la continuité et qu'elles ne soient pas interrompues comme elles l'ont été. J'ajoute à propos d'anticipation que je suis pour ma part, nous sommes pour notre part préoccupés par le contenu de la lettre de la défense de Yang Sari du 17 septembre 2012, puisque dans cette lettre, les avocats de M. Yang Sari indiquent non seulement qu'il n'est pas en mesure de préparer Philippe Short et qu'il ne sera pas là pendant l'audition de Philippe Short, mais également que pour le moment, M. Yang Sari n'est pas non plus en mesure de préparer Elisabeth Becker et qu'il faut peut-être envisager aussi le report d'Elisabeth Becker. Nous aimerions que la la Chambre se penche dès maintenant sur cette question, de telle sorte que nous n'ayons pas dans quelques jours ou quelques semaines à euh, nous poser les mêmes questions que celles que nous nous posons aujourd'hui. Cela étant dit, nous avons entendu aujourd'hui que il n'y a pas de nouveauté quant aux problèmes psychologiques de M. Yang Sari. Nous avons entendu qu'il y a des problèmes physiques et que les médecins ne sont pas en mesure de nous donner des délais quant à la suite des événements d'un point de vue médical. Par conséquent, pour aboutir à la conclusion, comme je vous l'ai dit, nous soutenons la position des procureurs, même si je dois indiquer à la Cour que, initialement, nous aurions préféré maintenir l'audition de M. Philippe Short dans la mesure où nous estimions qu'il n'y avait pas vraiment dans les documents médicaux de raison de reporter. Mais nous acceptons cette décision, nous acceptons cette proposition des procureurs parce que nous, souhaitons, nous ne souhaitons pas engendrer de difficultés procédurales, parce que nous pensons que si la Chambre est en mesure de nous donner très rapidement les objets des prochaines audiences, les témoins qui seront interrogés ou les experts qui seront interrogés, nous pouvons continuer d'une façon normale. Nous acceptons également de soutenir les procureurs parce que nous avons pris en compte les propositions de M. Yang Sari de renoncer à son droit d'être présent pour l'audition de certains témoins et que nous pensons que c'est une façon aussi de ne pas arrêter l'avancée de ce procès. Donc nous acquiescons à la demande de reporter l'audition de M. Philippe Short. Nous demandons à la Chambre de nous donner le plus rapidement possible un agenda des prochaines audiences. Nous souhaiterions que la Chambre interroge la défense de Yang Sari sur ce qu'elle entend faire à propos d'Elisabeth Becker, de telle sorte que la Chambre puisse envisager aussi euh, cette situation et reporter, si nécessaire, l'audition de Mme Elisabeth Becker. Enfin, nous acquiescons à la proposition des procureurs quant à la désignation de deux experts et nous souhaiterions que ces experts puissent apporter très régulièrement à la Chambre et aux parties concernées, c'est-à-dire aussi à la partie civile, des rapports réguliers qui nous permettent d'apprécier la situation d'une façon précise. Voilà la position de la partie civile. Je vous remercie. Le Président, merci. À présent, la parole est donnée aux équipes de défense. Si une équipe de défense souhaite s'exprimer, elle a la parole. Maître Carnavas, je vous en prie. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bon après-midi à toutes les personnes. Présent dans le prétoire, tout d'abord, nous remercions l'accusation, nous pensons que sa position est raisonnable et pragmatique. Selon nous, c'est la seule solution possible à ce stade. Tout d'abord, ces quatre dernières années, voire davantage, la défense de Yang Sari, au nom de son client, a beaucoup coopéré avec la Chambre de première instance et en particulier M. Yang Sari a fait montre d'une volonté exceptionnelle de coopérer avec cette institution même si c'est en tant qu'accusé jugé de crimes graves. 
When we learned of Ms. Singh's health, nous avons we were proactive. Quel était l'état de santé de Ms. Singh? Nous avons pris les devants. Immediately looked at the list of witnesses. Nous avons examiné la liste de témoins. We consulted with our clients. Nous avons consulté notre client. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily waived her right to testify. And we were able to come up with a list of eight witnesses that Ms. Singh voluntarily
uh, in this case in a very robust manner, que nous participons so that at the end of the, de façon conséquente à ce procès. At least one thing cannot be said, and that is l'idée c'est qu'à la fin du procès, personne ne pourra dire from, que Yang Sari uh, a lack of defense a été mal défendu. So, to that extent, I think that we've demonstrated our Dans willingness ce sens, at, je pense at every que nous level, avons and Mr. Sri certainly has demonstrated his willingness at every level to uh, participate. De participer à ce procès. Uh, finally, Yang Sari with respect to Philip Short and enfin, video links and what have you, I just want to touch on one issue. De because I, don't see, I see it as a non-starter, at least with it, when it comes to Mr. Yang Sari. À distance de la part de Monsieur Philip Short, je crois of course, que when it came to, to Kiernan, you've already indicated that Concernant video link, nous avons uh, indiqué testimony is for exceptional circumstances. Distance, These are not exceptional circumstances. Cas de circonstances exceptionnelles. Ce n'est pas le cas en l'espèce. Uh, Philip Short has indicated 2003, Short 2013, he is clearly available. A indiqué qu'il était disponible en 2013. Uh, there's no compelling reason why he must testify in 2012, even though I see that there are some claims Même si that the cost could be anywhere from 200 to 700. My last uh, estimation was that it cost approximately 100 euros des coûts de to change the travel date of a ticket. Euros, selon so where these costs come in, I don't know. But be that as it may, even euros, if it was 700, uh, it certainly pales when, when comparing uh, what is at stake at the other end. And that exact, is violating somebody's enjeu. rights à savoir que l'autre option c'est de violer les droits de quelqu'un. Uh, so the, the video link doesn't doesn't work. Mr. Ngsi will not La déposition par rien vidéo ne fonctionne pas. Monsieur Ngsi ne donnera pas son consentement. That, then I think we need to look at rule, uh, 81 5, Il faut se pencher sur la règle 81 uh, which qui because that's what this would amount to. Les procès to trial par contumace car c'est bien cela. C'est un procès a, par contumace. Mr. Ngsi if Mr. Inksari si is not Yengsari able to participate in his own defense, and if Mr. Defense, Inksari does not authorize his attorneys to proceed forward and is unable to give instructions, then obviously we cannot in this courtroom nous representing him. Pas plaider ici en son nom. And so effectively, he would be... Uh, this would amount to a trial in absentia, albeit just for... Philip Short. Contumace, and when you look at 81.5, and you look at it carefully, especially 81.5b, there is a presumption B. that the accused is capable mentally and physically of participating because 81.5b effectively B. states where the accused B. absence Comme suit. causes a substantial delay si de and where cause the delays interests of justice so require si la durée de and de we're suggesting that's not the case. The, the trial, trial chamber may order, exige, may order that the accused participation be by audio-visual means. Audio so our starting position is that he's incapable because he has been participating, and if he was capable, he would be in the holding cell. Si il de le faire, il dans la so I don't think that in the immediate future, Donc, we can proceed pour proche, by video link with Mr. Short que nous aller de avec, uh, solely in order to meet uh, pour la the, uh, the scheduling Short. that we have, Donc, when in fact no one, no one will be prejudiced if Philip Short appears in 2013 because as the prosecution pointed out and as we endeavored to do so uh, through our letters with the court that there is enough business that we can conduct in this trial that is necessary and reasonable between now and say the end of the year when we can have a better look to see uh, where Mr. Inksari is. And Et the doctors, although it wasn't a rosy picture today, seem to indicate that a month or two months down the road, Mr. Inksari may be fit to continue être in assisting in participating in his own defense. So I want to, uh, again, 
commend the prosecution for taking a very reasonable approach. Monday, we will make ourselves available to go over the entire list. I can't guarantee that we're going to come up with too many names. Uh, certainly, we will talk to them, and then we will talk to our client. We will do whatever uh, we possibly can to ensure that the proceedings uh, continue. And, of course, we would encourage the trial chamber to set up a scheduling uh, order to set out a scheduling order with respect to all the other businesses, especially the 1,400 statements that the, trial, that the uh, prosecution wishes to have admitted. I think this is going to take a substantial period of time. I think these discussions ought to take place in public. The parties will need some time to look over those statements in, in order to make uh, proper oral or written submissions, whatever the case may be, or a combination. But we do have enough work ahead of us that we will not and should not lose any time. While Mr. Inksri is is given time to recuperate. And I want to thank the trial chamber for setting today's hearing and for calling the doctors and to hearing from the doctors. And perhaps next time we may need to hear with the specialist as well. Thank you. Thank you, Council. I would like to now hand over to the other defense teams. If you have any observation to make, you may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning or good afternoon. Um, I, I had some, some um, uh, very brief uh, remarks. First of all, uh, we welcome the flexibility of all the parties um, on this particular issue, and I'm sure we would all welcome to the flexibility of the trial chamber. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to briefly um, uh, note that um, uh, this uh, flexibility also applies for our client. Um, he is more than willing, like ESRE has shown today, to expedite the proceedings as much as possible. Um, I would like to point out that he has almost every afternoon waived his right to participate in these proceedings. I, I, rea I realize saying that, that uh, your honors every afternoon order court officials to install a video link and other technical equipment to allow my client to participate. But I would like to stress, uh, like we've done in the past on several occasions, that uh, this video link does not mean that he's actually following the procedures, uh, let alone effectively participate. A television screen does not miraculously cure an accused able ability to uh, uh, participate in his or her proceedings. Pour, uh, la uh, having said this, um, uh, we uh, uh, fully support the position taken by the Yang Sari defense uh, on the issue of Short and de Elizabeth Becker. Thank you very much. President, thank you, Council. Now I hand over to the other, the other defense team, Council Kungsumon. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon, Your Honours. Through my observation of our uh, previous hear hearing, the uh, parties uh, have agreed on the legal principle relating to the right of the accused to confront du droit de witnesses, à and I do not need to labor this point. Je donc pas I simply would like to ask uh, for clarification on the des uh, flexibility of schedule, because it was not uh, something that was uh, scheduled earlier. It is prepared uh, for something that we have not actually scheduled so far. And this is meant uh, for the parties 
uh, the civil parties and especially et the accused who are now in their advancing age and they have to anticipate uh, some uh, donc, uh, problems in relation to the uh, presence of them. And I think that the flexibility that the chamber is now allowing is very important because important. that should be uh, the uh, possibility to de accommodate the request uh, by uh, parties. For example, parties, in this case, Mr. Philip Short uh, has deliberately mentioned that uh, he will not be available for the uh, testimony uh, sometime next year. And this will uh, facilitate uh, the witnesses uh, to come to testify at their appropriate time. So the bon uh, testimony itself will be uh, meaningful because there, was, uh, there is cooperation by the uh, witnesses. And if uh, bon we cannot accommodate their request, uh, probably they, they, can, they uh, might not come to testify uh, with uh, happiness. So I uh, appreciate the flexibility bon of the uh, trial chain The President, thank you. The President. Le President. Now the discussion in relation to the schedule summon of testimony by uh, expert Philip uh, Short uh, is now uh, done. And voilà the Chamber appreciates the expression de of uh, observation of all parties involved in relation to the uh, testimony of 
Mr. Philip Short as well as the uh, challenges we have to overcome. The Chamber will take into consideration uh, every observation made by parties and we will uh, render a memorandum of understanding in due course sometime next week. And the Chamber wishes to advise the party uh, and members of the public uh, that uh, the hearing will resume uh, on the 25th of September, which uh, will be on Tuesday next week on TCW 475. And Mr. Sari has uh, requested uh, that uh, he be uh, present to hear the testimony of this witness then uh, that is uh, the request uh, made by uh, him, uh, but uh, that is what he uh, suggests, but as scheduled, the chamber will resume the hearing on the 25th of uh, September 2012 with uh, the state witness. The time is now appropriate for the uh, adjournment, so the chamber will adjourn now for the day, and then we will resume on the 25th of September, starting at 9. The court is now adjourned.